Hello friends, today I'm going to solve little problem number 953 verifying an alien dictionary. So in this problem we are given a string order which represents the um, arrangement or the order of the alphabets in this dictionary. For example, if it was an English dictionary then it would be starting from A, B, C, D to Z. But since it's an alien dictionary, the order would be something else. And we are also given a sequence of words, an array of words basically. And based on this order, we would have to determine if this array of words is sorted in a lexicographical order. Which means that the characters in each of the word appear before the next characters in the next word. For example, let's take this in and check. Well, if it were an English um, uh, dictionary, it would mean that H comes before the character L, right? Since H comes before the character L, this whole string is smaller than this string so these two words are sorted in a lexicographical order now in case of this dictionary as well we are given that h comes before l so also that also means that this dictionary is a sorted dictionary now how do we actually find that well what are we going to do is based on this dictionary we are going to assign the position to each of the dictionary so h would be at position zero l would be at position one a would be at position two and so on and now what we do is for each of these two strings so the first string we take the first character and from the second string also we take our first character and then we find the position of this string in in this um, order so what's the position it's at position zero right and the character l is at position one now we know that h which is at position zero comes before l which is at position one so since this character comes before this this whole string hello comes before lead code so hence these two are lexicographically sorted now what about in this case well it would not be difficult to find uh, the um, order between these two words because the first character itself is different right but what in this case where these two words start with the same character first three characters are same here right so what are we going to do is we check until we reach the character where the two words are different so we have the word and the world character so we reach until the this character where the word where both the words are different so we reach the character the third character and then what we do is the same thing as we did for these two strings we find the position so for d um uh, we just look at this and d is at this position while well l uh, seems to come before d right so since l is before d we know that this word is smaller than this word so it's not sorted lexicographically so we return a false in this case now let's look at this example here so what are we given is an apple and app so it in this case also the three first three characters are same now once we move to the next character in the first word we do not have the um uh, corresponding character in the third uh, in the second word right um so th that means that it's empty and in case of um it's a general rule that empty is less 
than any characters so that would mean that this string this word is less than this word so this is also not sorted lexicographically and then hence we return false so now that we know um, the basic logic behind it let's start solving this problem so what are we going to do is we need uh, each character map to its position so we will create a map and then we'll start comparing each word for each word we are going to compare each character with the next character so let's create our map first all right okay and then for each of the characters in this order okay So we are going to assign the position for each of the characters and then for each of the word in the words array we are taking uh, length minus one because uh, we are comparing each character with its next character so for example we are comparing this with this character and uh, this word with this word and then what we do is next we compare this word world with this third word now for, uh, uh, we do not have any fourth word to compare right so that's why we only take till the length minus one so next we are going to compare each of the characters for each of the word right so j should be less than length okay the word i and we also need to check uh for this case right if um um there is an empty character so if j is greater than or equals to the length of the next word then what are we going to do is we are going to return a false else what we do is we just will check if the word the characters are same in both our word in that case also we are going to uh, continue okay and T I N U continue to the next character just like in this case we start from the first character and we know the character the blue we do not need to find the position because that would be the same so if the character itself is same we do not need to find the position we are just going to compare the character and since they are the same so we move to the next character that is O so that's what we are doing here and then if that is also not the case then what, what we do is we find the position so we find the position one for words i j in the map because map has a position for that word and we are going to find the position for the next word the character in the next word as well at index j and then what we do is we compare the position if position one is less than position two then everything is fine so far which means that the two words are sorted just like in case where uh, the position of h was less than position of l right so we know that these two character these two words are sorted if not uh, we the position would not be sorted the position one would be greater than position two we do not need to uh, check for a cost because we have already done it so what are we going to do is we are going to return false because then position one would be greater else at the end we are going to return true so now let's run our code and look if we have any errors okay all right 
eyes would be less than the length of the order. Cool. Let's submit this code. Awesome. So talking about the space complexity, we have used a map. So the space complexity would be uh, dependent on the length of the order. But now what's the length of the order? That's the length of the number of characters, right? Uh, which is constant. The number of characters are only 26. So since that's constant, so our space complexity is also constant. Now our time complexity. Since the length of this order is constant, so this would be of 1. However, the length of the words array may not be constant, right? It could vary n number of times. So that would be of n. And for each of the word, the length can also be uh, any, like it could vary m number of times. So that would be of n times m time complexity for um yeah 